Guys, the broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen only mode. Guys, please check it. All of you get my voice on screen. Those are attending in only. Please confirm to me, guys. All of you get my voice on screen. Those are attending in only. Just confirm to me, guys. All of you get my voice on screen. Those are attending in online. Just confirm to me, guys. All of you get my voice on screen. Those are attending in online. One minute, guys, and just let's have a look on. Minute of time, yes, I was got it. Fine, sir. Now, uh, what we completed, guys? Now check it. No, the last class, what we completed there. Then I think so. We completed. We are discussing about output statements in uh, Python and the language fundamentals output statements. We are discussing there. Okay, fine. Now, output statements here we are discussing. Inside these output statements, we already started like which one? Placeholders, that means uh, formatted outputs, that part we are discussing with. If you observe these formatted outputs, and anyway, then before this, what exactly the content I discussed with you so far? If you observe these points now, first of all, it will be like which one here? Uh, if you provide any data from Python program to output devices, then the data is called as output data, and the operations which we perform to send the output data is called as like which one here output to output statements and the output operations and the statements which we used to perform this output operations is called as like which one here no output output data like what I'm telling you know output statements. To perform this output operations, we will use which function there? No print function here. We are able to use. That's okay. Good. Print function here we are using. Next one is all right. Then print function and some few examples we completed there in the last sessions. Then after that, after completion of this print function here, next one is we already started with like which one concatenation operation with the print function and before that, uh, like concatenation operations here with the print function we provided and a plus operator we understood and a comma operator. Star operator also we have seen that concatenation operations. 
there we covered one interview question what exactly the difference between us operator and the concatenation operator between these uh, printed functions that anyway here we have seen that then after that after completion of these formatted outputs and before that we have seen already end keyword we have seen and uh, to keep the cursor in the same line not to keep the cursor in the next line then after that sub uh, scp keyword we have seen that what is the purpose of this scp keyword there is to provide uh, some separator between multiple values through this print statement if you want to display some data through print statement and if you want to provide uh, some content like which one can know some separator between multiple values there we have seen already the separate uh, all these things now and after that after completion of this we have seen already like which one and a formatting outputs if you want to perform this output formations there some symbols here i have used there what are the various symbols i have used there we can observe this clearly percentage i come on guys now tell me percentage i is for which purpose there no percentage i is able to provide like which data there no now tell me enter next one is now tell me percentage d also be for which purpose there now tell me no percentage d is also be for which purpose there no enter we can understand this clearly no? then after that after completion of this this content here another one percentage f for which purpose here we are able to use there now tell me percentage f for which purpose we are going to use there no for a flow chart we already have very about it after completion of this one then a percentile then what next one here yes sir for which purpose we are using this percentage yes sir one guess now tell me for which purpose we are using percentage yes sir so like which one here sequence types all sequence types are going to be covered all sequence types and what next one here no string and uh, string that we are able to get here and string also be we are able to get like which one string right so now this is one thing next one is like this here we are able to have some some content here anyway now we can observe this clearly then after that after completion of this i want to go for an example now try to observe this example all of you guys what was the example here i'm telling to you now try to understand this example anyway all right let's let's understand this all right we are using that uh, uh, what we are using there uh, jupiter notebook here we are using it jupiter notebook I want to take one example to cover all these things. Now I want to go for one example. Then after that, we'll go for other version of like which one formatted outputs. Other version of formatted outputs can we are able to provide this clearly. Right, so now let me open this Jupyter notebook. One time, if you open this, then we're able to do work on this particular content. Yes, one minute, wait. Right, so. That's okay, fine. Now here we have to click on like which one new, and we have to open like which one Python three. If you click on this new, and if you click on this Python three, what we are able to get here? That cell here we are able to get. That's okay, fine. This is the cell here we are able to provide. Now after this, clear. What I am telling you now. Fine, sir. Now here what I will provide then. First of all, I want to take one simple example. A is equal to not A is equal to now just observe this clearly. For example, name is equal to. I want to provide some data now. Try to observe this clearly. What I am trying to provide here, name is equal to. Uh, say for example, Durga. Name is equal to Durga. Next one after completion of this name now. Organization I want to provide. organization is equal to say for example digital technologies all right sir next one is after this organization what i am providing here after completion of this we can observe this clearly and a is is equal to all right sir maybe and uh, something else a is is equal to something else just i want to provide 27 something else Then after this is next one is like which one organization is okay fine salary is equal to just I want to provide like which one here salary per annum I want to specify then what about this per annum no say for example seven point five seven point five per annum here I want to provide okay seven point five lakh for example I want to provide this lakh just awareness I am telling to you know seven point five something else float value here we are providing here now right. Or else, maybe per monthly also we can we can provide there and seventy thousand 
and what it may be something else now k here i want to provide for example listen carefully what it may be just 7.5 per annum lakhs per annum that i want to provide here next one is after completion of this and my skill set my skill set is equal to this i want to provide my skill set in the form of which one no list here i am going to take this list no so here my inside this list here what i am going to provide here we can observe this clearly say for example just i want to go for like which one java next one is like which one what i want to provide there and python and the next one is i want to provide like which one ui technologies this is my skill set total skill set here i provided here good fine next one is what next one here now after completion of this skill set uh right what are my uh, skill set is okay fine java python and ui technologies that okay fine then what next one here after completion of this skill set now and qualifications here i want to take now my qualifications are qual is equal to i want to take some tuple inside this tuple here what i want to provide there say for example first b tech then after that i completed like which one m tech for example then i want to provide one more thing that is like which one can a phd for example these many things here qualifications can be provided skill set i provided qualifications can be provided here next one is then after that and what what we want to do there now we want to go for like which one percentages that means and uh, qualifications and as well as like which one percentages here i want to take now or before this qualifications here we have taken in the form of this one skill set here we have taken then after that what next one here apart from this now apart from this then what we are uh, what what we are what we have done there and um, so in which companies we work out there i want to specify that uh, content now in which companies that means domains or else maybe in which domains here we work out there say for example i want to give some domains here what are the various domains here i want to provide there first one is like which one here healthcare healthcare domain i work out there next one is like which one banking after this clearly and next one is like which one then after this banking insurance or insurance insurance project south we can we work out there or for example might be insurance or whatever it may be banking or maybe whatever it may be like this kit we work out on this these many things no domains on which domains we work out there that we want to provide there this is one thing fine sir now these are the content that i want to provide next one is like which one uh just another dict type also we can want to take then how i'm going to take this dict type norm qualifications and what next one era pass route so qualifications and pass route then that i want to provide there or else maybe just what we want to provide there no regarding this one uh say for example uh skills and their uh, rating skills and rating no skill set skills and rating i want to provide is equal to just i will take this uh, dict type no first of all here i need to be specify like which one java colon i want to give the rating is like which one just i want to specify out of 10 only rating out of 10 here we have to specify that say for example 8 8.0 i want to provide for example or 8 i want to specify that comma next one is like which one then after that and uh, python i want to be specify python colon i want to specify like which one and 8.5 i want to specify there comma next one is like which one ui technologies then i want to specify some skill sets and rating now what about this rating here you know, just i want to specify some 7.5 guys just roughly i'm giving information there i don't have any much priority for python i don't have any much priority for java i don't have any much priority for ui no it's not like this just for providing these details here i want to provide this content here anyway then then uh, and people are asking to me why we are using underscore symbols or not just underscore symbol just for the sake of which one here just for the sake of uh, our understanding purpose that underscore symbol easy to read i said to you in the language fundamentals bharat i think you forgot about that language fundamentals no in the language fundamentals identifiers part i given in that identifiers one uh, suggestion i have given there if you have multiple words in a single identifier it is suggestible to separate these multiple words with a uh, Uh, some special notations like underscore symbols as guys i will remember this session no? i will remember this sessions yeah there i given the point no? right sir good now as one time now all of you now give clarity for me one time now tell me no one time uh, tell me guys i am asking one question there one time now tell me um uh, 
first now tell me here name what is its data types are actually just i want to know this is a string am i right or not string so if it is a string what is that format symbol here we have to provide what exactly the formatted formation symbol here we have to provide there now tell me guys formatted symbol which format symbol here we have to provide there percentage s just let me confirm it that's why i'm, I'm taking all these things uh, now tell me organization is also like which one you know it's a string am i right or not it is a str type that's why formatted symbol would be like which one no percentage square we provided this also be like which one you know str so formatted symbol would be like which one you know percentage s only right so now come for a is equal to 27 can be provided a is equal to 27 that a is equal to 27 in the sense what is its type sir now tell me no all of you tell me it's a type is which one you know come on guys type data type i'm asking here int that int formatted symbol is like which one no percentile i or we can use like which one percentile d either of the things here we can provide there next one is after completion of this now tell me salary is equal to 7.5k for example i am providing there something something else k or something else here i want to provide there in the provided data i want to provide now its type is which one sir what we are able to provide there float then here what we have to provide there now tell me personal f care we are able to provide now next one is a skill set what about the skill set now tell me now skill set is like which one you know come on guys all of you know answer for it now skill set then what is this type actually list that list type that is a sequence type actually sequence type must be provided with which one you know which formatted symbol now tell me now then here we have to use which one percentile yes sir next one is like which one qualification that is like which one now tell me right sir it, it, it would be like which one to pull am right or not its type is to pull then it would be represented in the form of like which one you know percentile yes only next one after completion of this not care not care it is a percentile list it is a string no? right anyway next one is domains domains is like which one is a Domains is like which one get now all of you know tell me no domains domains here i specified health care banking and insurance like this i provided now what about this one its type is like which one here set set is represented in the form of like which one no percentage s now next one now tell me now skills and ratings now and its type is which one sir now tell me no right sir right sir now tell me what about this one skills and rating now then what we have to provide there the skills and rating here we have to provide like which one dicta dicta then and a date and a time then i'll take the separate example guys then separate module is available what is this model there data time api is available there i will discuss about this date and a time you know then special notations we required not immediately you know. first of all at basic level we can understand date and a time content is available in the future that I, i'm going to discuss with you as part of the date and time different different options are available there in the case of date and a time formations are available there i will discuss with you not immediately you now right so now now here percentile dict here if you provide there then here what we have to provide there no percentile yes here we have to provide these are the formatted symbols here i'm going to i'm going, I'm going to provide this clearly right yes now i want to prepare a template message inside this template message here we are able to provide which one some data right whatever the data here i want to provide that just we can update this clearly now percentile yes is what right already given yesterday in the in yesterday's class i given all these points no Personal S is for which one string and as well as like which one all the sequence data types for all the sequence data types here We are able to use which one percentage yes that we have to remember anyway Right, so now let me prepare some content here. What I am telling to you There's some template message here. I want to prepare now here it's a print directly print I want to provide there just I want to prepare a message now then what is it message now? I am so I want to display my name. Where is my name actually my name is available here now so after this clearly what i want to provide there my name is available now here i want to provide which one personal list whenever we provided this personal list now then immediately i have to provide like which one personal immediately here i need to provide like which one name let me check up to this point here i want to run this example if you run this example what we are getting sir i am durga output here we are getting <coughs> please after this clearly i am durga that value here we are getting just i provided only one thing right sir. next one is then after that what I want to provide here now, my age is, my age is, then age value is which one, 27 I need to provide, that means percentile D I want to provide, second value, second value here what we have to provide there, comma, age, I need to provide like this, now let us run up to this point here, what we are getting there, I am Durgam and comma, my age is which one, 27, the data here we are getting, then after that, after completion of this, 
Kama, after completion of this, I am Durga, my age is 27. Then after that, I, I want to specify that I am working. I am working with the, the company name here I have to specify. Where is that company name? Organization is available. Here we have to specify like which one no? Percentage, yes. Why? Because it is a string, you know. So here I need to provide like which one? Name, comma, is, comma. And then what we have to provide there? Organization here we have to provide. Organization. With which organization here we are working? That we have to specify client you know. Right, sir. Now here I need to specify that one also. Click on control enter. Here we are getting our content clear. I am Durga. My age is 27. I am working with uh, HCL technologies. Like this here we provided our data now. Like this here we are providing our content. Yes, sir. All of you are getting it or not clearly now. Then after that, after completion of this particular point here. Okay, fine now. Up to this point here I specified in a single line. If you want to continue the remaining part also in a single line, we can do that. Or else, if you want to come for this next line and where if you want to use another print statement, we can use that print statement also. That depends on our requirement. Now, okay. Now, I want to use another print statement in the next line. Here, I want to provide the content. If you want to provide the data in the next line, here, what we have to do there? Again, we can use the print statement. We can go for this continuation part here. What about this continuation part? I am Durga. My age is 27. I am working with the HCL technologies. Like this can be provided. Next one is like which one? My skill set. My skill set. My skill set is... Now, okay, what is my skill set? No, skill set is a list type now. So, here we have to use like which one? Personal S here we need to provide. Whenever we are using this personal S again here we have to provide like which one? Inside this, now here we need to provide like which one? Skill set here we have to provide. Right, sir. Skill set that we have to provide then. Yeah, skill set that we provided here. So, in the next line, the next output I am taking in the next line that we can understand it clearly. Skill set I provided here. That's okay, fine. My skill set is like this. We provided the skill set. Next one is like which one? After this, my qualification is my qualification. My qualification is I want to provide the qualification also. Again, here we have to provide which one? Personal. So, skill set, comma. What next one can we have to provide? There, no qual. So, all of you observe this clearly. This qual, I want to take a small q. So, now here, here also I want to take like which one? Qual. That's it. Well, here I want to take now. So, skill set and qualifications here I provided. Now, with this, I want to uh, go for this. I want to close this, or maybe if you want to continue the remaining part now, you can continue that in the remaining part here. But anyway, I want to go for some other thing here. Printer, uh, then after this, my skill set and as well as like which one and my qualifications here we provided. Next one is like which one I worked with. Uh, I have worked with, uh, I have worked with uh, the domains. The domains like now here I want to provide all these domains like which one? Yes, sir. So here we have to use like which one percentage. Here we have to provide like which one domains. Domains like this here. Uh, this one here we have to provide this. Then after this, what next one here? No, after providing these domains here, my skill sets, my skills and ratings. My skills, my skill set, my skills and the ratings are my skills and ratings are. Then I have to provide like which one here? Personal is here. I need to provide. Then here we need to provide like which one? Skills and skills and score and rating that I want to provide here. Comma. Then what we have to provide there? No? We can observe this clearly. Skills and ratings that we have to provide. Skill set, not like this. Skills and rating. That's it. Wait a minute. Okay. What we have to provide there? Skills and score and ratings. Rating or ratings, rating, rating, that's it. Skills and rating that we provided here. Anyway, guys, now I'll do this clearly. Now click on enter button here. We are able to get our data now. Somebody here, we are getting some error here, not different. Skills and rating. Just gotta check this variable name now. Skills, I think so. Yes, a small here. I want to provide skills and rating. Right, control enter. Yeah, now here, after this clearly, what we are getting the data. So I am Durga. My age is 27. I am working with SCN Technologies. This is first line. First line information can be provided. Second line is which one? My skill set is Java, Python, UI. Comma, my qualification is like which one? My qualifications, of course, I have to write now. So, there what we have to write? BTEC, MTEC, PhD that we have to write. Next one is after completion of this, third line is like which one? I have occurred with the domains like which one? Banking, insurance, and healthcare. And my skills and ratings are which one? Java 8, Python 8.5. And UI is like which one? 7.5. Like this, we have to provide now. I think so. Not specified any salary value. Uh, okay, fine. Now 
we can include the salary value also now here itself i want to provide the my salary my salary is percent lf i want to provide this here itself salary value here i want to provide organization comma organization comma right so salary here i want to provide i think so salary is not included now i included that control enter get what we are getting there so i am good to my age is 27 i am working with sl technologies and my salary is like this here we are getting it now salary is something else here we are getting what is this 7.5k no 7.5k i want to specify per month 7.5k per month just in general i want to specify this one All right so like this here we are able to get clearly the content here now fine guys now this is like which one get a template message and what we provided here this is like which one get the total data here i prepared now this is like which one get no print functions and where we provided some data where personal s and personal d's and all these things here we have to use clearly guys all of you are getting clarity or not so this is like which one output formations here we are able to provide output formations here we are able to provide right sir right sir so this is the point you know all of you observe this clearly 7.5 i think so these zeros are having not much meaning here any number of zeros here if you provide if you provide zeros here then we can understand it now but python will take internally this many places this many zeros there after this dot so don't don't think much about this particular point this is like which one guys now after this clearly the output formations output formatted symbols can be provided that's okay good next one is like which one here what next one here we are able to provide no after completion of this good that's okay good now this is like which one here output here we are getting here the next one is after completion of this particular point next one is there is a small drawback with this particular content guys there is a small drawback with this particular content now observe this clearly what is the drawback here i am going to be provided to you all of you observe this clearly that very small drawback try to understand it drawback is like which one you say for example a is equal to 10 the simple example i am telling you for our understanding purpose str is equal to uh, just i want to provide like which one str is equal to um, say for example A B C I want to provide. Let's observe this clearly. A is equal to ten. S T R is equal to A B C. Next one is like which one? Now okay, given S T R is equal to A B C. F is equal to twenty two point two two something else. Here we provided now. Just I want to say A value is a percent L D. Comma. Then what next one here? S T R value. Is percentage s, comma, f value is percentage f that we provided, comma, percentage here we are able to provide. We have to provide. First one is like which one? What we have to provide? A comma, and what next one here? S T R comma, and next one is like which one? F here we provide. Okay, now here we are able to get the exact output. What we specified here? A value is ten, and S T R value is A B C, and F value is which one? Twenty two point two two. Like this here we are getting some data. Right, sir. Good. Right, sir. Guys, and personal D, personal S, and personal F. Already, I explained these concepts, no? Right, right. Already, I explained these concepts in yesterday's class. So, now, ma'am, uh, not attended yesterday's session. Haven't attended yesterday's session. Yeah, please check once that material. In that material, I given clearly the total content came out. Right. And check once there. We are able to understand it. Still, if you are not understanding that, then I'll explain to you. But Max, I specify the total content in the language fundamentals document. I given that. Right, sir. Right, sir. Then what next one get? Then after that, clear. After that, what I am telling to you after completion of this, listen carefully. Here we are able to provide like which one? A value is ten and S T R value is A B C and F value is like which one? Some value here we provided. Anyway, leave this one. This is the content here. See, up to this point here, here the simple drawback is which one here we provided percentile D. That means in place of this percentile D, we must to provide, we must to provide only, we must to provide only, which value here we have to provide, sir? We must to provide only integer values. We must provide only integer values. I love you. Up to this clearly, what I am telling you now, we must provide only integer value. 
Unfortunately, if any other value be provided, no, then definitely we are able to get which one? Some wrong value. No? Some error get we are able to get. Say for example, a is equal to 10.0. If I take for example, example point is not clear here. If I run this program, right? Say for example, in place of this, no problem. A value in this is automatic A value it has taken personally. It's okay, fine. Say for example, if I want to provide str here in place of this str, and here I want to provide a for example. So just small interchange here I perform it here. What you are getting is a percentage format a number is required, not str. A number is required, not str. Observe this clearly now. So if we provide different values there, then automatically here we are getting like which one of some problems. In some situations, data types may not be important here. Right, we are going to provide some data, but in the case of this personal D or personal S, this kind of things, you know, exact types only here we have to provide. Exact types only here we have to provide. All of you observe this clearly. No? Exact types only here we have to provide. So to overcome this particular problem, to overcome this particular problem, to overcome this particular problem, we have to go for like which one here. So like we need to go for placeholders. To overcome this problem, we have to go for which one? Placeholders. Wait a minute of time, I'll come back now. One minute of time. Yes, I'll come back. Right now, here what is the point? Oh, guys, and here what is the point here? I'm telling to you clearly what exactly the content here I'm telling to you. Uh, here, just if you provide these formatted symbols here, insert these output formations. No, we have to provide exact types only. We are unable to provide which one different, different types of data. Exact types only here we have to provide to overcome these problems only. Here, we have to go for which one placeholders. The content is like which one placeholders. After this, clearly, what we are able to provide, you know. Placeholders, good. What is the meaning of placeholder and all these things we are able to see in our content? Not right after this clearly. Right, sir. So now in Python, there are two types of placeholders are available. Observe this clearly. Placeholders. Placeholders, we can observe this clearly. No? On my phone. Placeholders. So there are two types of placeholders are available in the case of this Python. What are the two types of placeholders? No. First one is like which one? Index. Index based placeholders. And second one is like which one? Name based placeholders. Right, so two types of placeholders are available. First one is index based placeholders. Second one is like which one? Name based placeholders. They are the two types of placeholders that exist. But what are these index based placeholders and name based placeholders? No, the subject is clearly. I will give clarity for it. Right, so index based placeholders and name based placeholders. They are the two types that are available. What are the two types of these placeholders? No, index based and name based. What exactly index based and what exactly name based? Right, sir. So, guys, what is this index based and what is this name based? These things here we have to understand it more clearly. Absolutely clear. Now we are going to understand clearly index based. Placeholders, index-based placeholders. Index-based placeholders. What is the meaning of this index-based placeholders? Then what is the syntax now? Inside a string, inside a string, 
we have to provide indexes we have to provide indexes inside string we have to provide indexes next one is like which you know how we are able to provide this indexes now just a syntax here i'm telling to you what is that syntax now curly braces now what next one can you know index that we have to provide curly braces and index that we have to provide next one is later on we have to provide later on we have to provide values for the indexes later on we have to provide values for the indexes right so to provide values for the indexes here what we are able to do now right so what we are able to know to provide later on to provide uh, right so later on to provide indexes to provide values for this what we have to do there so here we have to use a separate term uh, like what i am telling you know some function here we are able to use there how we are able to provide these values here now just we need to understand it clearly format function here we have to use we have to use like which one format function inside this format function we need to provide like which one some content here this is like which one here syntax here we have to use what exactly this one that means whatever the str here we are able to specify that the data here we are able to provide clearly all of you observe this clearly what exactly the point i am telling to you now good right so syntaxes are also existed here we can up to this clearly right so now this is like which one the other syntaxes here we are able to see now see if you see one time the total example there we are able to get clarity on this point now right so now let's let's see one example here on the basis of this What is the point here? I'm I'm going to be specific to you. Now try to observe this clearly. The point here, what I'm telling to you now, uh, say for example, a is equal to ten. Simple example I'm telling to you. Then after that I will go for again the same example, previous example where I'm going to use some indexes and all these things. Here we are going to understand. Now at present here we are able to understand like which one? A is equal to like ten. I want to provide and b is equal to twenty, and c is equal to like what I'm going to provide is thirty. I provided this one. So a, b, and c, ten, twenty, thirty. That values can be provided here. After this clearly. Next one is after completion of this. What I what I want to do there after completion of this, just I want to go for like which one? Print off. All of you observe this clearly, no? And print off what we are going to be provided here. Print off. Uh, just a value. Just I want to take like which one? A value is. Here we need to use curly braces. Inside these curly braces, here what we have to provide there now? Just I need to provide uh, zero. Index values in general will start from zero. Am I right or not? In general, index values are started from which one? Zero. Next one is like which one? A value is uh, zero. Next one is B value. That's it. B value is again curly braces. I have to take one. Next one is like which one? C value. C value is curly braces like which one? No, two. That we have to provide. A value is zero, B value is one, and C value is like which one? Two that we have to provide. Right then after that, what we have to provide? We have to provide values for which one? Zero, one, two values. Here we have to provide zero, one, two. The values here we have to provide. For other purpose, here we have to use a function. That function name would be like which one? Format function here we have to use. Format is a function that we have to use there. Parameter, not parameter. I think so. Format. Right, sir. What we are able to get there? Format, not parameter. Yes, parameter function. Here we have to use. Now inside this format function, we have to provide the values. What are the values? Here we have to provide them. A comma B comma C. The values here we have to provide. Parameter. After this clearly, order is very very important. In in place of zero it index, if you want to provide one value, then that we have to provide. Here is a value here. No. In place of one value here, we have to provide B one. In place of two, then we have to provide like which one C one. That means. If you thought for zero index A, for first index B, for second index C, no. If you want to provide this in the same order, we have to provide. If you change the order, no. As as per that provided order only, the elements are going to be displayed. As well, let us run this example. Here we are able to get like which one? A value is ten, B value is twenty, uh, and C value is thirty. Here we provided. All of you observe carefully. One more time, I am telling to you. No. For example, if you change the values, no. Here if I provide B, here if I provide C, and here if I provide A, for example. If I provide in this order, then what will happen there? No, what will happen there? No. Come on, guys. Now answer for this. What will happen if I change this order here? No, insert this format method. Insert this format method. If I change this order, then what we are able to get? No, tell me, guys. Huh? Any idea? What we are able to get? No, tell me. No. Definitely. Then A value is which output we are able to get? No. A value is now B value will be provided. A value is which one? Twenty. And B value is which one? Thirty. And C value is which one? Ten. We are able to get. 
output will be changed meaning of that statement will be changed meaning of that statement will be changed now we don't require such kind of thing no we don't require such kind of thing no that's why here what's the point i'm telling to you we don't require such kind of thing no so that's why because of that reason order must be very very important order must be very very important we have to observe this clearly now so in the case of this index based in the case of this index based we must provide exactly the same order everybody has to understand it clearly now what we thought what we want to provide values to this uh, a b c you no know, exact values only we have to provide if we change the order definitely that index values are going to be changed that the placeholders values are going to be changed here this kind of problem here we are able to get clear now right so now then same thing here i want to provide in the previous example here we have taken some content here all of you observe this clearly same example i want to take but i want to provide like which one index based things here i want to provide now let's observe this clearly not here the same example i copied this example previously i have used it now here itself i want to provide this uh, index as well. now observe this clearly in place of this personal s here what we have to provide sir now observe this clearly now here i am able to provide like which one zero with index here i want to provide like which one here here itself i can provide like which one one here i am able to provide like which one can index as now here we can provide like which one two uh, now here Zero one zero one two and this is like which one here now three zero one two three that we are provided here. Next one is like which one here now here inside this we should not use this personal f and all these things no. In place of this what we have to call sir just we have to remove this personal here here we need to call like which one format function format of same name age organization and salary like this here we have to provide dot format function here we have to use. Right, so now coming to this next one, another one also be here. We have to provide. Now inside this also be here. What we have to provide there? My skill set, personal skill we provided. Just leave this one here. We have to use that uh, curly braces. We have to use like which one curly braces. Next one is like which one? Then after that, inside this here I need to provide like which one zero again. Again here we have to provide zero. Now next one is like which one? My qualification is like which one? Personal is now again here we have to provide like which one one. So here, what we have to do there? Dot uh, format method here we have to use. Skill set comma qual here we have to use. All of you listen carefully. Next one is then after that, I have worked with the domains like which one? Now again here we have to provide some indexes. Now here we have to provide like which one? Zero we have to provide. My skills and ratings are like which one? Here we have to provide like which one? One here we have to provide. Now here also what we have to do there? We instead of using that person there now. Instead of using this person there, here we have to use like which one? Dot format. Dot format here we have to use the domains and skills and ratings and hashes that values here we we are able to provide. So whenever we are using these indexes now, data types are not much. Data types are not much now. Data types are not much important. Just we can provide directly like which one we are able to provide this clearly now. Right, sir. Now this is minimum minimum awareness, sir. What I am telling to you, I I already given clarity there. Zero, one, two. I provided for the sake of zero the argument in the format method in which order we provided in the same way here we are able to assign the values now for zero it no name will be assigned for first R uh, is will be assigned for second uh, argument organization will be assigned for third salary will be assigned that's it automatically these values are going to be provided format method is able to do that format method is able to read this uh, string now. Insert this string for zeroth index. These are the indexes now. We have to understand it. For zeroth index, which value will be provided for this first argument? Which value here is able to provide in the format function? What exactly the first value be provided? That value will be provided for the first index. That means for the second one. This means this one. For this one, second argument value will be passed. For this second now argument organization, that third value will be provided. For this third one, salary will be provided. Here. So on the basis of the order, in which order we provided there, in the same order the elements are going to be provided in place of the indexes. Here, no? same thing is we provided for all the content. Clearly, we can understand. Right, so now control enter. Now here we are able to get like which one? Same data here we are getting. We are not getting any different data clearly. I am Durga. My age is twenty-seven. I am working with SQL Technologies. Like this, my salary is like this, and all the data here we are getting exactly. So this is like which one index based placeholders. We are able to perform. We are able to perform these output formations. 
we are able to perform output formations by using like which one you know index based placeholder sums we are able to perform this output formations by using which one index based placeholder sums so this is the point here what i have given there clearly as all of you are getting it or not clearly no is confirm to me all of you are getting clarity on this one right so one question we are getting sir without knowing c language we can learn python can we learn python right and uh, bharat you are giving information or you are asking question i am not getting that you are giving information or you are asking question that's that's a doubt now yeah anyway then if it is your question without knowing c language can we learn now? is it possible to learn python if you are asking this is a question now my answer is like which one my answer is definitely we can learn we can learn python without having any awareness on other programming languages why because python is a fundamental programming language for this fundamental programming language again another fundamental programming language is not required in which way we used to learn c programming language in the same way we can start with which one python that's it so not required to go for any awareness just the fundamentals computers fundamentals if you know that's sufficient or else maybe if you have any awareness if you have any awareness on this or c programming language that well and good if you are not having c programming language awareness no you will learn 100 percent this is python programming language see guys one thing i am telling to you c programming language core java and next one is which one python all these are at one level in a scale then for them again fundamentals are not required we can start that programming language directly as a fresh language as a first pro fresh programming language leave it in anyway. just let this content guys so anyway now this is like which one can now then simple content can we can have this clear you know right sir how we bring bullets uh, in uh, anyway, nothing sir just it is very simple just uh, what i have used there now this bullets if you want to get it now simple hyphen we can use the hyphen space hyphen space data we can provide there in jupyter notebook automatically you are able to get it yeah sequence of variables declared and the calling of variables how index based or place orders will work see in which way we declared that doesn't matter in which way we declared place orders that doesn't matter this this order is just only declaring the variable that's it you are not following this order but which order is following the to the format method whatever the order we provided in which order we provided elements no in the same order that replacements are going on say for example here zero index is available for zero index which value will be provided there in the format method which argument we provided that value will be replaced that value will be provided now so after this clear you know so in the case of this first index now which value will be provided in the format function what is the second value here we provided that value will be provided next one is like which one this is like which one another index now this is 0 1 2 second index now for index second now 0 1 2 organization will be provided that means that value will be replaced in the same way for 3 which value will be provided here now what exactly the value is available here that is salary that value will be provided so in which order we declared this in which order we declared and which place that doesn't matter we don't require that max we required which one can now do the format method in which order we provided in the same way in the same order the elements are going to be provided to the indexes now that's the point here what i'm telling to you right so nothing is difficult very simple that point here now just up to this zero then what is the value here we provide in the format now name next one is which one one now what is the what is the order here we provide second one is which one a is next one is uh, this third one here what is we provided here organization and fourth one what we provided sand in the same way here we provided so now ma'am understood it clearly now Hmm? Have you understand these points? What I am telling you? Yeah, that's fine. Good. Okay, guys. Now I am asking one more question to you. Now try to answer this clearly. One simple example I want to provide. Try to answer this clearly. All of you understand it now. So name is equal to say for example I want to provide Durga. Listen, listen carefully. All of you listen carefully. Simple example. For our max understanding point of view, I am going to give this one. Name is equal to Durga. Answer this clearly. Name is equal to Durga. That's fine. Next one is a is equal to just I want to provide twenty seven for example. Of course, it is not my is and it is not Durga is also. Just understand as an example. Already people are asking this question. All right, sir. Name is equal to Durga and a is equal to twenty seven. Next one is 
then after that after completion of this after completion of this uh, what we are able to provide the name and age say for example uh, salary my salary or maybe something else that i want to provide only these two things i want to provide sir not not more than that next one is like which one now then i want to provide this one print uh, i am then what i want to provide zero comma and my age is yes. what we want to provide the no so something else one i provide then what we have to do dot format dot format of i need to provide like which one name comma age yes. clear now if i run this one here we are able to get output exactly i am durga and my age is which one 27 that's fine very clear right sir that's okay fine observe this clearly one small change you know this is like which one index based this is like which one index based formations index based formations can be provided for example if i provide first age comma name if i provide this guys now tell me now tell me what exactly that output here we are able to get now tell me guys all of you have this what is the output here we are getting now tell me what we are getting that output now Mm, if i change that if i interchange this that means the first i provided is comma next name if i provide no what we are able to get message no are you expecting that message is like which one my age is 27 and my am durga like this are getting uh, can you write that uh, can you write that output for this what we are going to get no right sir i am 27 and my age is durga am i right or not What is the statement that we are able to get? Control enter. Answer this clearly. I am twenty seven and my age is Durga. Is there any meaning in this statement? Is there any meaning in this statement, guys? Now tell me no. Huh? Is there any meaning in this statement? No. It's a meaningless statement or not? It's a meaningless statement or not? Yes, exactly. This is the problem with this is the problem with like which one? This is the problem with uh, like which one? Okay, no. This uh, index based placeholders. It's a meaningless. It's a meaningless, and this is a problem with which one? No, index based placeholders. So to overcome this problem, to overcome this problem, we have to go for name of based placeholders. To overcome this problem, we have to go for like which one? Name based placeholders. What is this name based placeholders? No, what exactly the meaning of this name based placeholders? No, I'll have to answer this clearly. In place of indexes, I want to provide some names. What are the names that I want to provide directly? I want to provide like which one? A is A, A some name. I'll, I'll observe this clearly now. Or else maybe then the small A I want to provide. In place of one, what we want to provide there now? Not A is now. Here right right information I need to provide N. N in the sense like which one name? Then here this is A is A I provided it. For example, then dot to format inside this what we have to provide there now? We can provide in any order that doesn't matter. But what we have to provide there now? N is equal to name. We have to provide comma and A is equal to A is we can provide there. So now what it is going on there? In this total placeholders, wherever N is available, there we have to provide name. Name value will be provided here. N is available in place of this Durga will be replaced. And in this total message, wherever A is available, A is the name as an index now as a, as a placeholder. In place of this A, what it is going to be provided there? A is we are able to get it clearly. Let me click on this control enter. Here we are able to get like which one? I am Durga, and my age is which one? Twenty seven. Now after this clearly, in this case, just we can replace this content also. I can remove this one. A is equal to first one. Next one is n is equal to n is equal to name I provided. First a is equal to a is comma n is equal to name here we provided. Now we can provide anything. No issues there. We can provide like this. Now click on this control enter. Here what we are getting there? No, we are unable to get any meaningless. No, just we are able to get like which one? Meaningful statement only, right? So no. Meaningful statement only here. We are able to get it clear now. So here I am Durga and my age is which one there? Twenty seven. Exact value is there. Even if we provide anything, no. even if we provide like which one, any changes here we can provide there. But still we are able to get like which one? This content here. Are you understand this point clearly? What I am telling you, right? So now what is the advantage of this kind of thing? This is called as like which one? Name based. This is called as like which one exactly? Name based, name based placeholders can we are able to get it. But what is the advantage of this type of formations? Not only name based for all these formations can be provided. Then what is the advantage of this one? Simple advantage is available. We can observe this clearly. 
जिस आई वॉन्ट टू टेक स्ट्रिंग मैसेज टेम्पलेट मैसेज टेम्पलेट मैसेज इज इक्वल टू आई वॉन्ट टू यूज दिस मैसेज सर एस टिस I want to provide this message here as this. Okay, fine. Now here inside this, what I will do? No. Template message. Dot format here. Here we are able to provide this. Here also I want to remove this content here. Just I want to provide like which one direct values here. I want to provide twenty-seven and the name is equal to like which one Durga. I want to provide the seven. Then what I will do? No. Next uh, message is very same. But here, we, if we run this program, here we are able to get one type of output. Similarly, I want to provide same message, but values I want to change now. We can take this printer in place of this yes. I want to take like which one, for example, thirty-two, and name is equal to like which one. What I want to provide is say for example, log I want to provide. Similarly, I can use that print statement. Yes might be like which one here, and thirty-five. I want to provide like which one in place of Durga. I want to provide like which one now. So we can go for that print statement. Message is very same. Just only values here we can provide there. Now font here we can provide. Say for example, I want to provide like which one and Rahul something else. Right? Click on enter button. All these messages here we are able to get. Guys, after this clearly, how many times I prepared this message, guys? Now tell me, how many times I prepared this message? All of you guys. Now answer for my question now. How many times I prepared this message now? Come on, guys. How many times I prepared that message? Don't say four. Think and give answer now. How many times we provided this message now? How many times I prepared this message? Here we can see this. So now, ma'am, is that four times or one time now? Huh? So now, ma'am, four times or one time? Only one time. Only one time we prepared this message. But but uh, how many values we provided? And how many times we reused the same message now? How many times we reuse the same message? Multiple times we reuse the same message, but with the different values or not? Four times we reuse the same message, but with the different values or not? Exactly. With the different values, here we provided this content. With the different with the different values, here we provided this one. So, can we think it is? Can we think this type of statement, this type of message, is a template message? No. Uh, can we think it is a template message? No. Right, sir. Answer my point clearly now. Yeah, uh, shall we? Shall we think about it? Is a template message no? Definitely, it is a template. It is a template. Inside this template, just placeholders are available. Where just we have to enter the data. We have to provide which one corresponding data. That's it. So message only one time we prepare, but we can reuse that any number of times. But with the different different values, we have to provide. So this is what exactly the advantage of like which one output to formations. This is the main advantage of like which one output to formations. This is the meaning of like which one output formations, guys. Right, sir. Now this is totally like which one here output formations here we completed, formatted outputs content here we completed max. This is the points here we can understand it clearly. Right, guys. And tomorrow we are going to see might be some other content or if I want to extend this content one or two examples now, I'll go for it. And tomorrow max we are going to check the remaining content, guys. That's all, guys. That's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, already, already. Uh, Already, I shared the document there. Text file well, I given there already. Try to check that. In the language fundamentals total document I have given. Try to execute that programs there. Right, sir. Same examples are available. Even more than this, also examples are available there. Just, just we can check that uh, uh, text document what I shared with you. By that, we are able to get some clarity. Fine, guys. And tomorrow we'll see the remaining content. Tomorrow we'll go for some other content. Both are available. Yeah, as these programs are available, just check once more. But maybe values may be changed. Values may be changed, but programs are available. There. You can check with that. Or else, wait a minute of time. Now let me. Then people are very much thinking about it. What we have to provide there? No. Which file here we are expecting there? Dot py file. I want to share. Right, and let me provide this. Okay, yes, and uh, later I will provide this. Not now. Uh, later on, I will share that to you. Know, later on. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot.